Hello, riders or not? Hello from the Bike Shed Show 2023. Excited. This is guys my favorite show from all the shows so many custom bikes and I can't wait to see them all last year I came with my build so I had to stay quite a lot of time next to it whereas this year I can properly enjoy looking at other people's builds and tomorrow tomorrow I'm bringing Simon with me and I can't wait to hear what he will say that will be a very different experience because his knowledge and custom builds together I'm very excited about that as well. I wouldn't let him in if I were you. No, don't, don't, don't let him in.
Yes, we'll find two. the seats. Two. 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 two people? For two people, yeah. And one and a half. Oh. Alright. I'm allowed to film the bike, only the bikes he points out. Some get hooked the day they're born. Some fall into it as time moves on. Some are defenseless when Cupid strikes But I've been heartless ever since I opened my eyes I'm gonna run from love Yeah, I'm gonna run from love Ain't nobody gonna get me to slow it down I'm gonna run from love Some are weary and some are lost some keep their spirits up at any cost Some pay the price and some only talk But I've been feeling nothing since the day I could walk I'm gonna run from love Yeah, I'm gonna run from love
I wish it was no loud music at this show. And I could record every conversation that I had. I could interview the builders. I could interview my friends, the builders from all over the world. And also share the conversations that I had with Simon about the builds that he was interested in. It was amazing. Unfortunately, because of the copyright rules here on YouTube, very strict copyright rules, I couldn't use any of the sound that I filmed at the show. Like, for example, this build. I found out about the carbon fiber more than I ever knew. Because Simon could talk about it for hours, about the different types and how it's made and how it's molded and everything. And the questions he asked the builders is the next level. Seriously, guys, I wish I had his brain.
to the mountain near. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm just gonna squeeze here. I, I, I miss the end. Bye, bye. Enjoy tomorrow. <laughs> where we can have a piece to the camera. It's been music all day long, loads of loud music. So either you will have voiceovers or my, my music, the one that I have copyrights for. But now we're having a piece to the camera so you can say whatever you think about the show and how did you enjoy your day at the bike shed. Is it the first time you spend an entire day at the bike shed show? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, normally I bail out. Um, normally I'd, we'll drop the bike off if we're showing, we'll drop the bike off uh, on a Friday. We don't even stay for the press night, we dump the bike, run, and then on the Sunday we normally get here about sort of five o'clock-ish and then have a quick look round at everything and then load the bike and go home. So you spent all day today? Yes, all day. All, how, how, how do you feel, how did you like it? Would you do that again? Oh uh, yeah, it's so tiring and there's a lot of talking um, and, a, and a, a, lot, a lot to look at and a lot to take in, so um, I'm knackered. Yeah, I'm, na I'm knackered too, but yeah. it's, it's a good knackered. It's very like, it's full on, like, it's, it's just so much. Yes, it it's is. like you live the few days in one day. Yeah, yeah, uh, from, noise, from, yeah, lack yeah. of oxygen. Yeah. I've drank water today. <laughs> you drank coffee as well. I drank coffee, yeah. Yeah, coffee. yeah not tea and no. biscuits, but we met some of you guys who are watching the channel. It was, it was great, wasn't it? Brilliant. Like, yeah, Brilliant. yeah. Had Brilliant. some photos with us, send them over. Yeah, also, send them over. Also, it was great to see other builds as well. Yeah. And uh, to, like, people asking about the inspiration, it's probably not the inspiration so much, it's more of a, like, um, for just, me, just be in the scene. For me, it was about um, asking other builders their thought processes yep. and, their, and their, their, their build processes because everyone builds things differently. They start with start with different concepts, and I think the carbon fiber Yamaha. Um, I needed. I really wanted to know the ins and outs of that. Yeah. Um, and the fact that the, the way that I've seen carbon fibre produced and how they produced. There's a 3D printed the moulds and stuff, that's amazing. So I think actually getting to talk to the builders, talk of the devils. Yeah, there. talking about them. Just talking about you. We're talking about you and your build actually. Oh. <laughs> yeah. well, thank you for talking. <laughs> Can you quickly introduce yourself? I'm David. Ben. And Alex. Alex. Dragos. And, and they came from from USA, from across the pond with the build. Yes. How was the transferring? Was it difficult? You smuggled it. <laughs> uh, well, there was a lot of worries, but luckily everything made it like perfectly. So it was a good time. Did what? you have a good time at the show? It's been, it's been great. It's been great. Was it the first time you are exhibiting at the bike shed? Yes. Yeah. And it's very, very impressive. You came late, so I'm going to ask the builders how, how did they feel. <laughs> uh, we've been to a couple shows, but this is by far the biggest and the nicest venue I've been to. So we're really, really pumped on it and, and happy to have people from overseas see the stuff that we do. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. Enjoy tomorrow as well. And thank you for bringing your build to all the way to UK from USA and showing it off and revealing it here as yeah. well. That's big. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Bye. Bye. Yeah. I had a quick interview because I didn't have any. I did see did that. So I, I, I managed to, to smuggle a little interview. Yes, good job. Good job. With no music. Good so job. where we, we, we are talking about you. But the, did you find that because the show is quite big, it's not many builders next to the bikes? Yeah, I think they, uh, a lot of them do what I do and they run away. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, 
I think it's okay for a, a, like a, an hour or so, but um, you, get, you do get so tired, and everything seems to be quite repetitive. Because, but that's it's because people want to know and people are interested, so that's really cool. But it's like, how did you do that? And then you explain how you did that, and then ten minutes later you're chatting to another guy, and he's like, that's really cool. How did you do that? And then, but I mean, I don't mind that. I'll tell. Oh, but that's the that's the repetitive thing of it, and it does make you really tired. It's because you're teaching me, so you're used to that. Yeah, I'm used to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that bad, actually. <laughs> no, no. But it's been a good day. It's been a great day. You're yeah. not complaining. You, you, all you do now is complaining. What's I complaining? <laughs> oh, I, I'm not like, complaining. I'll, I'll ask him on Monday. I'm going to Mint Customs on Monday. I don't know for you which Monday it will be because I don't know when the video is out. But I will ask when everything is settled because now we both are completely naked and we have to make home. And Simon needs to use four trains. <laughs> Simon needs to use four trains for me it's only one direct and that's the beauty of where i live we're gonna get run over <laughs> i'll see you guys on the next one we need to concentrate 